my name is Dylan Hunt, or maybe cut the belly. Okay, there we go. I am the founder of Imperium 42 Games Studio. I am also the founder and developer of our flagship title, Throne of Lies, the online game of lies and deceit, coming soon to Kickstarter in September for PC, Mac, and Linux. I wanted to take a moment to talk about our game, and a lot of people are asking, what is this genre? What is this game? Well, for those of you that know the genre, it's actually pretty easy. We're a werewolf mafia survival game. However, this genre dates back to 1986, originally from Russia, so only a few actually know this genre. So for now, let's just call it a social deduction role-playing game. But you'll notice I called it a role-playing game and avoided calling it an RPG. The same thing, there's actually a reason for this. In the traditional sense, most people think an RPG as in Final Fantasy, but it's definitely not like this. But you literally do take on a role. In fact, there are over 15 roles to be assigned in a single game with two factions against each other, the Blue Dragon and the Black Rose. You could probably guess who the good and bad guys are from the names, I hope. Uh, there is also a king in every game that will be assigned to a party, but no one knows his alignment. In fact, no one knows who anyone's alignment is, except the bad guys, the Black Rose. They know who each other are, but they are the minority to balance the game. The main part of the game is using your deduction skills and investigative abilities to determine who is friend, who is foe. The game is split into two main phases, day and night. At night, players will appear in the customized rooms to their role, and the good guys will use their investigative and defensive abilities to obtain clues to if people who are who they say they are. Meanwhile, the bad guys will focus on murdering the good guys, secretively. They are the ones who know who the other bad guys are, but to make up for balance, they are few in number. And also to juice things up a bit, we'll also have some chaotic rules. They won't follow either faction, and may even have their own objective. Now during the day phase, you'll see who was previously murdered and discuss who has committed treason, with a vote to execute them, where every execution ability is unique, so the weapon they are wielding chosen outside of the game will determine the execution ability. For example, a staff will cast a magical execution, while say a sword will use a more traditional approach. Speaking of weapons, each player will have customization options in the form of components, as in not just skin sets, but also individual pieces to further customization options that appear the way you want them to appear. Don't worry, aesthetics will not affect gameplay. Uh, anyway, back to the day phase. I already mentioned we have a king. If the king is found murdered in the night, a noble class, if alive, can step forward to replace the king. However, you don't know who the traitor noble may be from the Black Rose, so players need to really pay attention to what they discover during each phase. That's it for now. I hope to talk about the game more in the future. I just wanted to mention that this is a full 3D game made with a Unity 5 engine. So the first thing you'll notice is that the game is very pretty, but while maintaining simplicity. I'll try to make video blogs every weekend to talk about different things involving the game or dev blogging. This video, if posted elsewhere, is found at our Tumblr at throneofliesgame.tumblr.com. You can find more info about our game at www.throneoflies.com. Dot com and register now to get veteran status for a limited time. This means we'll probably give you free alpha keys, beta keys, exclusive items. Oh yeah, we're just here to spoil you for supporting us early when we really needed it. Later, we'll still love you, just not as much as we love our veterans. Also, be sure to mark your calendars for a September Kickstarter and keep an eye on us. Thanks for watching. My name is Dylan with Imperium42, and you'll probably see me again.